<clears throat> what time is it? Let's see. The time is 17. I don't know if you guys can see it over here. 17.54. Charging on hold. Why? The time is 17.54. And I can't get myself out of bed. We had such a hectic night. Um, Actually, day. We had a hectic day yesterday. I was hosting my cousins. And damn. Crazy. I'm tired, but like I'm genuinely very tired. Um, I have to travel to Pretoria. I'm out of the province, yes, and I was told ah, I need your um location two four seven because you're always traveling, like you're always tra I'm always not home, which is a bit weird and crazy. But yo guys, I'm tired, like I'm tired, and I bumped onto something. <laughs> be able to see properly but there i hope you guys can see like i bumped into something i bumped into something actually the gate yesterday here yeah. because i was trying to um, look i was i was looking for someone outside and then trying to open for them right and then i had to like basically look through a, like a pigeonhole and as i tried taking my head down i hit the gate and it just started bleeding and i was busy on the phone telling him yeah no turn left spitting um blood yeah no turn left yes that gate there oh, wait let me open i was in so much pain to a point where when he got off the car he's like oh my goodness your lips are so swollen and i was like yes and the thing is that's the first thing you can see but ah uh, well so the people don't ask me to get into the house because hey my sister what happened to you because i just got into the house and it's like guys please no questions asked i bumped into the gate and this is how my lips are i couldn't even speak like even now i feel like my lower lip is very heavy for me i can't properly like <laughs> i feel like it's heavy it's very heavy that it's just the inflammation yeah is it um painful am i in pain it's mum and it's hot my lower lip is a bit numb and it's very hot it's literally you know when when something is painful but it's hot at the same time that's how i feel it's just crazy so i wanted to start off the vlog here i don't know why i'm starting the vlog here i just wanted to have a proper intro because i know for a fact i might not have um an intro for tomorrow um tomorrow is a monday and i'm planning on traveling back to pretoria tomorrow but the only downfall with that is that um when i get to pretoria i have to go straight to campus because i have an appointment on campus at half past 12 yeah half past 12 it's an hour 20 minutes appointment so from half past 12 i must be on campus and i actually do have classes at 11. i don't know how that's going to work out but it shall work out so in the meantime guys this is my intro comment down below if my decisions are thumbs up if they not please you're more than welcome to just crucify me it's okay because i just want i just want somebody to cruise at me literally it makes sense but this person said that i'm never home when it's the weekend i'm either out of um town out of the province or not by my place i am probably in a different uh, metropolis which is which is okay it's fine it's not a bad thing but the only problem is that i'm always alone you know and they're just watching out for my safety that's it with whatever that's happening in south africa and um it's been two weeks actually Ugh, guys I want to talk about this my cousins talked about it yesterday and i just got goosebumps because i'm really heartbroken um my cousin went missing it's been two going on three weeks she went missing on the 28th of august and her car was found she works in port of Struum and in the northwest province and her car was found in the Gauteng province davidton mall close to benoni she was not in the car. Ooh, 
gather yourself, my angel, gather yourself, gather yourself. Okay. She was not in the car. And yeah. The car was apparently found in very good condition though. I don't know who's holding my cousin captive. I really don't know. But word out there if you guys find um I'll put a picture of her somewhere in the screen and if you guys have seen a familiar face or know where she might be please just just contact those numbers on the screen guys i don't want this vlog to be an emotional one i really don't want this vlog to be an emotional one i just wanted to literally introduce the vlog and take it from there i think this is going to be a monday tuesday vlog so that i edit it on on tuesday monday tuesday vlog so i'll edit it on tuesday so that it goes up on wednesday at 10 o'clock and then I have to start recording something else on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which I'm going to stop recording on Saturday and edit it on Saturday evening, the whole evening and post it for um, a Sunday. But in the meantime, just brace yourselves and let's get right into the video. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Mm. What a heavy Monday. I'm just a wow. I want to have a Monday, a painful one. Um, okay, I think when this video goes out, the news will already be out. <sighs> the cousin that I was talking about um, on my intro video passed away. <sighs> Yo, she was unalived just like that. And yeah. So, ugh, never mind that. We are on our way to. I'm by Rustenburg. I'm on my way to. Pretoria and when I get there I have to go straight to class like I have to just drop my bags and leave I think I'm gonna wear a cap even I don't wanna do my hair I'm just tired today I'm just drained so um what's going to happen oh I have class I have class I thought I had class for half past 11 but I mixed the times it started half past 12 so I still have enough time cause right now sorry excuse me I still have enough time because right now it's um, slightly after half past 10 so it's a few minutes to 11 and I'm already by Rustenburg so it's not it's not a big deal Ooh, guys I'm having a tough time being in this car on this road trip back to my place because I'm just an emotional mess right now yesterday I poured cologne on my skin last night now I'm busy reacting so I'll see you guys once I get to campus. I'm dressed in this dress. Okay, I stopped to buy a spicy chicken mayo toasty from Vita Cafe and a Powerade. I'm wearing this dress and I'm wearing my really high um, socks and my slippers. And that's how I'm going to go to campus today. I'm just waiting for the driver to get here so that I can leave. This is the fucking reason why I need to go get. I am going to go to a car dealership. This is my plan. I'm going to go to a car dealership and get a car out and not have a plan for the coming month. I will leave it in God's hands. End of story. Ooh. <clears throat> um firstly good afternoon guys it's the afternoon right now excuse me let me fix you guys up where you can see me properly yes <clears throat> um i think it's, it's it's afternoon already and i decided to not vlog today um you guys can probably see i even changed the title of my video um, this was going to be a travel video, um, back to school, week before recess type of video. But due to unforeseen circumstances, I had to change the title. And that is because now we are dealing with grief. My eyes are a bit heavy. Sorry guys, I'm going to be doing something and then like while I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to be facing that direction because my mirror is there i can't necessarily see anything here but um we are dealing with grief 
you do know it's grief um yes like i mentioned yesterday you guys know by now that we lost our cousin and it's very sad it's very sad it's such a painful thing to have went through the trauma that she went through like how do you deal with yourself after unaliving someone but yeah so i got back to pretoria yesterday and when i said i was supposed to be on campus by half past 12 for an important lecture i sent my lecturer an email to tell her mm -mm. i can't i can't make it today i am so sorry i can't make it today i'm an emotional mess and then um she said i will talk if i am fine or better whatever the case is she said that um that's okay understandable and we'll talk <clears throat> today i thought maybe i'd study last night to distract myself i couldn't i then decided that i'd study today and go to campus today and attend lessons today um our lecturer for today's lesson actually cancelled the class today and the other class that i have is dr h's class of which i sent her an email as well to let her know that i will not be making it to class i'll tell you why um firstly 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 if i'm not in class dr h will literally point it out the next time she sees me that i'm sorry ma'am i didn't see you in class you know so <clears throat> i just wanted to give her a heads up that i won't be in class today uh, it's it's just the whole lot it's a whole mess and luckily now she's a very understanding person and she understood the reason behind that so guys it's not easy hey? it's not easy i was not fine yesterday i was really not okay but i'm just i just don't want anybody to ask me how i'm doing that's i'm locking myself in because um my colleagues on campus are away <laughs> of what's happening <laughs> so they keep on texting me and i put my phone on dnd &D and i'm not replying to anybody's messages because i don't want anybody to ask me how i'm doing i'm literally breaking down i walk to the kitchen and i'm breaking down i do this i'm breaking down i'm just like ah, guys you know what man? it's fine now woo, woo. not right now my angel Okay, I'm having my Red Bull because I need the energy. <laughs> I think I want to send um, Prof an email because we have a test tomorrow to let him know that I'm not coming to campus and I'm not writing that test. I'll write a sick test. I think I want to do that, but I'll see how I feel um, by tonight and then... Um, if I feel better by tonight, then I can go right. So I'm going to study. That's me saying I'm going to study today. If I don't feel any better, I'm going to send him an email to let him know that I'm not writing it. Either I'm not asking him, I'm telling him that I'm or I won't be writing it. Okay, let's go in with her hygiene. My eyes are heavy and painful. My eyes are heavy and painful and red. They just weird <sighs> ah, 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 ah. <sighs> I get to see if these are the tears or it's the droplets we are going to have a skincare routine I haven't done this in a very long time so while we have our chit chat in another day I'm going to be showing you guys what I use for my skin and although my skin is now just acting very funny of recent it's fine firstly going to go in with my i washed my face I, i'm done showering i'll go in with my tissue oil mm -mm, i'm lying that's not even the first step Hi. Mm -mm. the first step is this um rose glow face mist from the body shop this one from the body shop i like it because it plumps my skin and it leaves it moist so let's go yeah there let's go in with that oh so 
my cousin <laughs> my cousin didn't want to let me know on sunday because um remember i was okay no you guys don't know so on saturday i was hosting my my friends by and back home i should again like because i can't even mention where i was because monitoring spirits are monitoring everywhere they are monitoring but yeah so i went back home this past weekend and it was rugby obviously i'm just gonna give it away you guys know who i watch rugby with so he um insisted that i invite my friends over my cousins over <laughs> so i invited two of my cousins and i don't like people coming to my man's place guys <laughs> I, I detest that so much. So the only people I'm comfortable with are my cousins. So my other cousin was with her friend. <sighs> then I did not have a problem with her coming through. So it was the four of us. It was initially the three of us. Then um, my other cousin, Neo, had to go get her hair done because she was preparing herself for for this week. Um, she was traveling for work this week. She's just close by here in Rustenburg so <clears throat> she told me that because i texted her in the morning and it was just last minute so she was like sunday she wants to go to church so she's gonna do her hair on saturday then come later on in the evening um to come join us and i was like no that's fine as long as i can see her so we're having a good time watching the rugby yeah go boca the boca won and finally okay the evening ended then we left i mean they left <laughs> then um on sunday she was supposed to come back all right to come and bring back a few stuff that we gave her she, it was it was basically like takeaways so we ran out of lunch packs and those disposables so i gave her a plate and she said she'll bring the plate on sunday on sunday i was really not in the mood right but i was active on my whatsapp so but then my phone was on dnd &D the whole day and yeah sharp i didn't get any calls on sunday but we were communicating properly then my cousin just went silent she just went silent poor child she didn't even say a thing she just went silent she didn't mention anything to me okay i think my skin is dry and then now okay i'm gonna go in with my brand new tissue oil this is so good guys i feel like this thing actually saved my skin you don't have to purchase those expensive tissue oils i think actually i don't remember how much these are because i buy them in bulk i buy like three um from clicks you know clicks has these specials buy three for two for the price of two and whatever so this this is the girl she thinks she is you can also get this go pep i think yeah but i have been buying mine go clicks just so i can buy it in bulk then my cousin goes silent on sunday and i'm just like okay fine chap initially she had gone to church so i thought maybe nala bile she was tired because she left at midnight you know and she has a child and the child like she had to go back home to just go take care of the child you know so i thought hey, she was really tired so let me just give her grace time maybe she'll drop it off at the office on monday and then my cousin got the news and she didn't want to let me know because she didn't know how to tell me in the morning okay sharp then sunday passes by sunday monday in the morning i'm preparing to leave i was struggling to sleep that day that evening i would sleep like 30 minutes week up 30 minutes like I, I could not sleep on sunday evening and then um i was active on my whatsapp the whole day the whole morning i was i was struggling to get up i mean to to sleep and then um this thing is done though but this is my daily moisture glue let's go try it because it was it was there yesterday nope 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 unlucky my one it was there this is finished this is proper finished like i finished it but i normally use this thing because it's it's actually really good it is the daily glow moisturizer from herbal life i'm gonna throw it out i'll get a new one then sure sharp i get a text from a very good friend of mine this guy's like to me hey so so get what okay they call me so so at home that's my that's my pet name <laughs> this name is even in the streets bruh because ish so 
then I'm going in with my eye firming gel firming eye gel eye firming gel yeah it's the same thing I think in my head from Herbalife this is the skins range um, so I get a call uh, a text on Monday morning from a friend of mine he's like to be so scared of what I'm Peter Yellow. Normally this person one play one Peter. Hey Wena, how are you? You know? But this time he just called my name. And now this guy this guy also like knows this cousin of mine because he was always collecting back his poor. This bro, he was always collecting back, and so it's looking like a circle there. It's just really small, everybody knows everyone. He's like, Hey, what is this that I'm hearing? Was your cousin found? <laughs> like, I don't know. Now he's supposed to tell me, like, I'm scared to open my phone, I'm scared to communicate with anyone. I'm just waiting for my cousin to let me know of whatever that might happen or whatever that has been happening. So, I give Joe, he's like, eh, Please go and Please call your cousin and ask her. Neil. I'm like, okay. Why? What's going on? He's like, hey, I'm hearing. Corey, apparently your cousin was found. Ooh, I was so happy. Yo, I was so happy. I was literally ready to call my cousin and be like, let's go to truck stop. Let's go to truck stop. I'm going in with my sunscreen SPF 15. I want to finish the sunscreen. You guys know. But because I want to buy the SPF 51. But it's taking so long and I'm using a lot of it. I think maybe if I use it for my body. But the thing is in winter I was always covered so it was not really that deep. And then I'll show you guys what I do. I don't normally like rub it in. Like rub, rub, rub it in. No, I, I literally just apply it, right? Apply it to my face. If you don't need sunscreen, I'm judging you. Yo. I'm judging you, bro, because I don't know what you're trying to do. You're trying to age before your time or what. But if you don't use sunscreen, I am definitely judging you. You guys can see I'm not rubbing it in into my skin. No, I'm going to leave it like this so that it sits. And you know, the reason why I don't go under my eyebrows is because sunscreen in a little it runs down all the way to your eyes. So this my eyebrows are working as a barrier for that because in a little fat like it gets into your eyes and it starts irritating your eyes that's what we say in zona so to avoid all of that and then i'm going to leave it to set then after it sets in a very oily that's what i'm going to rub it in as i was saying then um this gent is like to me please call your cousin and ask her because i'm hearing that your cousin was found and i was like yeah i'm excited oh my god oh my goodness something was like ask him if she was found alive or unalive and i was like a state of the what is it he was taking so long to reply to me right and then i called him and he's like Ishjo, just call your cousin and ask your cousin. I'm like, I don't want, because I'm here already, I don't want to call my cousin. I was like, you know what, it's fine. I hung up the phone. I'm also organizing my transport back to PTA. I hang up the phone and then I text my cousin. I'm like, I'm scared to call you because I'm busy hearing weird things here. Um, please call um, our aunt and ask her if our cousin has been found. She didn't even hesitate. She just went, yeah, our cousin is no more. Yo, I, I I could not even think straight. I got up, I packed everything, I packed my bags. I did not guys I was just I was just a mess. Coming back, I was crying the whole way back. And that time I'm trying to not show the people in the car that damn bruh I'm going through a whole lot. But yo then I searched on my phone until i got to rustenburg and i switched it on messages were coming through i'm like hey 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 relax so i'm just going to stay away from social media for some time because i i can't do it <laughs> i can't do it i need to work on my mental health i don't know i think this is going this is a trend because even last year this time i was an emotional mess last year this time i lost my um my uncle you guys know and i was a mess so 
I hate to see myself at the end of August, the beginning of September every year. God forbid, I'm going to speak positivity into my life. This is the last year I'm going to go through such a mess at this time of the year. So, yeah. That's it, guys. Thank you. So, I'm, I'm, I'm ending this video here. Um, Thank you so much. I think, yeah, you guys can see it's not oily, right? It's not very oily. Then, after that, I... Going up, go up. Go, you don't want to bring your face down because now when you massage your face down, you are increasing the wrinkles and whatever. So, you... You you start massaging it going up do i have time to do this every morning <laughs> definitely yes which is why i'm always late this is what i do every morning without fail every morning without fail so yeah guys i'm just going to be off social media this week like there's just a lot going on a lot of people are missing a lot of people have been abducted a lot of people have been alive a lot of people this a lot of people that and in most cases it's kids girl children now i don't feel safe going to campus i don't feel safe like i don't i ugh, my safety is just jeopardized joe like it took me back i was telling a friend of mine yesterday on a call Hore, joe, can I, there was some man literally by my street here who was so angry at me for catching him scoring himself on the streets and he wanted to literally um pull me into his car and i denied like he was calling me then i denied and because i found him scoring himself and then i denied then after that he banged the door got into the driver's seat and he started following me i started asking people guys can you please um escort me to my place i just live here this man is following me because i caught him doing some weird shit to himself they at the back and people were like no we can't do running businesses these people that they're hawkers here no we're running businesses we can't do that i'm like this country has just imagine and that nigga looked like a foreign national can i tell you that i stood by one of the hawkers there and i pretended like i was buying sweets okay i bought sweets and then i crossed the road to go to the other side then this guy got into his car crossed the road onto the other side and he was waiting for me there now i have to cross the road onto the other side of the road the side so that i get to my place and he was literally standing by the corner i stood there and i requested an uber that will take me help me cross the street and drop me off here i literally requested less than 200 meters from my place so it's really south africa is not safe so that triggered me so much this is the second attempt of somebody basically following me and trying weird things with me but i i'm just grateful to god for his security guys if you've reached this far of the video this is not supposed to be an emotional video i'm just letting you guys know that yes you are going to have a video but i'm not going to be recording um today i mean today tomorrow friday saturday sunday but you will have a video for sunday i think this video is going to go up on sunday um and i'll start recording a new thingy next week for wednesday so thank you so much please comment down below blue heart um i don't know Pour your heart on the comment section down below and until then i'll see you guys on my next video if you do have advices on how you actually can console someone words of encouragement will be very helpful as well whatever like whatever whatever the, the what, anything that you guys can do just you can just comment down below and i will i definitely see every comment that goes down and yeah, thank you so much guys and I love you guys so so much.